sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, back. Good filler sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, two, in the, two prominent NFL players are holding out. NFC players are holding out. Uh, probably two of their offense's biggest weapons, besides the quarterbacks, are holding out. And it is Ezekiel Elliott uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, running back, and uh, Michael Thomas from Hull State, the Ohio State for guys, wide receiver for the New Orleans Saints. No, I no, I don't like Ohio, Ohio State. I'm a Michigan fan, so I'm gonna call him Ohio State Michael Thomas. But I do like Michael Thomas, a good good receiver, his nephew of Keyshawn Johnson, I believe he is. But um, you know, the kind of talk about it is it's risky business. I'm other channel if you want to hear some Detroit talk, Motor City Sports talk. I've been talking about it. I say the players are running a huge risk that's holding out for contracts. Now, Ezekiel Elliott, he seen that they asked Alan Hearns to take a pay cut. He didn't after uh you know, having a gruesome lower body injury. I think it was a knee or ankle injury, and they cut him. So he wanted his money. He got two years left on his contract, like maybe three and a half million dollars this year, and around this over nine million next year. He wanted to get paid, but you got, but they got to remember the leverage is on the owner side because next year it could be a lockout. They supposed to be discussing the CBA and the NFL is 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 not going to let the players get anything i believe the nba they make a hundred and was it 110 or 117 percent more well the nfl makes 117 percent more than nba the nba players get like 100 percent more in, in money the nfl is the worst players league ever it's not a players league they have no leverage no powers they contract they can cut them what they want to after the guaranteed money is paid or they can hold them against their will okay and Ezekiel Elliott, he is the, the driving force of the Dallas Cowboys. He watched the Marcus Lawrence get paid, and, you know, they talk think about playing Dak Prescott. And I'll be surprised if Jerry Jones played the black quarterback that much money that Prescott won't, especially who was as limited as he is. But Ezekiel Elliott is trying to make his point, and sometimes you got to remember your history to, 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 get to, your pre to get to your future. And history tells you that. Uh, when they had Troy Aikman, who was one of the most overrated quarterbacks of all time, if you ask me, when they didn't have Emmitt Smith, they struggled when Emmitt held out, and Jerry ended up paying them. Now, the difference is Emmitt Smith stayed in pretty good shape. You know, Emmitt Smith was a hard worker. Ezekiel Elliott is known to get a little heavy, so it could be a double whammy. You getting your ass whooped without Zeke, because Zeke, you know, it wasn't on a plane to Oxnard. I believe that's where they trained at. You don't have Zeke, okay? You get whooped on the first two or three weeks, and he really on that holdout tip. Um, then you say, okay, I'm going to pay Zeke with you. Oh, he come in and a motherfucker like 240, 250, or he ain't in playing shape. You pay him all that money. He tear, he sprain the ankle, hammy, soft injury, or shit, tear ACL, MCL, or get a serious injury. Then guess what? You paid him and he out of shape. And what they could do is what, is what I suggested on my other channel for the Lions with Darius Slay or Harrison. You could take some of that second, that last year money in the contract, restructure it. And, and put take half of that nine neo take about what take about what uh four or five million of that money put it this year and incentivize and give them eight or nine this year and next year you know we'll rework a deal out you know but then they can hold his rights for another four years you know if, if that if more than that they can hold his right next this year next year they can franchise them and they can franchise them again with the transition tax so that's for they, they hold his rights for the next four years but you know, I think Zeke Dad played in the NFL or something like that. So hopefully he's been doing right with his money. You know, if you do right with your money, then you can sit on that. If you invest your money your right way, you got real estate or you started some businesses that's bringing in more money. Because, yeah, you can get rich off the NFL. But I think your fame is, is very, very important because your fame can, uh, can knock down business doors and also all the endorsement money you can be getting paid. But Michael Thomas, this is even bigger than Zeke in Dallas because Michael Thomas is is – New Orleans' biggest, you know, uh, receiving threat, uh, um, pass catching threat outside of Alvin Kamara. I mean, more than Alvin Kamara. You know, he's a big integral part, but he's running back. They lost Mark Ingram, so how much onus? Because I know they probably brought somebody in to replace him, but how much onus can they put on Alvin Kamara without Michael Thomas there? He got a catch coming out the backfield and run the ball, especially if your backup running back don't step up. 
They they don't. I don't know who they tied in this year. They haven't really had one. Um, ben Watson was old as Methuselah. He in New England and served him suspension for pass. He thought he was retired and took something, but he ended up coming back. But um, with Michael Thomas, it's like, it's like, like really, you're going to play with fire? He got one year left. This is his last year, I believe, at $1.1 million. I think he was, what, a second-round pick, and he wanted to get paid. You know, he put up a lot of numbers, and, it, and you know, you don't pay him or you don't satisfy what he want. Guess what? This Drew Brees last freaking year. Is Drew Brees last? It could be Drew Brees last year. He getting old, so you don't want to waste his prime. And Drew Brees can ask Michael Thomas to come back all he wants to. All you got to do, okay, all you got to do is just remember the Javon, the the was well, the Javon curse? No, Javon Walker situation where you know he was holding out for a contract and Brett Favre said we need you. Then he came in camp, tore his knee up, never got his contract, forced to retire, never played another down again, or n- never another effective down again. His career was over with. So, Michael Thomas, hold out and get your money, man. You know, but you got to remember, it's on, next year it could be a hold, a hold, it can be a, uh, it could be a lockout. So, if you good, if you put your money up, you got other income sources, sources coming in from other income, then you good. But if you don't and, and you your money funny, well, you're going to have to come back because you're going to lose money every week you don't show up for camping. So on, you're going to lose money in the season, and you better make sure that contract is right. But these are the two most prolific or one of the most, two of the most prolific offensive players in the NFC, and this can definitely change the power of the NFC. I then I don't think New Orleans, are you know, is a Super Bowl contender, let alone a playoff team. I had them missing the the playoffs anyway, you know. And I do more NFL talk and, and shit. The, 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 the Dallas Cowboys lucky to eight, get eight and eight without Zeke. So we'll see, man. But hey, it's good, fellow sports TV. Let me know what you guys think. I'll link some articles supporting this. Uh, video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship, video request. Keep sharing the videos. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Box and get you eighteen percent off the hundred percent all natural products, lotion, soap, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair palm, made much much more. Website promo code Goodfellow One Box and get you eighteen percent off the hundred percent all natural products. And let me know what you guys think about the situation. If you got any NFL request videos, email me or hit me up on social media. My links in the description and my email in the description as well. Appreciate the love and support. Share the videos. Best on that you can make. We gone.